Thank you very much, Your Honor. Um, it sounds to me like the nutshell version of uh, your testimony is that <clears throat> the wrong question was answered, i.e. willfulness rather than reasonable cause. It was answered in the wrong venue, to wit a committee or subcommittee or perhaps individual determination instead of the judicial conference as the statute suggests with the result that the deliberations were, to use your words, opaque. They took place out of public view. Is that a fairly accurate summary? Uh, yes, uh, with the uh, caveat that uh, it appears to me, having revisited this and having more information uh, in some respects than I had in 2012, it appears to me that no decisions and possibly uh, no action uh, was taken in 2011. Uh, and uh, that's another concerning matter. The one place where there is um, an opportunity for public awareness of what is happening in this process is at the judicial conference, correct? Well, that's not completely uh, correct uh, either, because I have scoured uh, the Guide to Judicial Policy, which is not a public document, and the judiciary's uh, description of the judicial conference and its committees. There is nothing in there that says that a judge or justice can't talk about what transpired. Uh, However, I'm asking a bit of a different. Well, I know, but no, but however, the and I, and I expect that some of you at least have attended those meetings. The public is not allowed to observe to see uh, the proceedings. They're allowed to see this hearing. They can judge my credibility, and if they're interested, my motives. But uh, that kind of transparency doesn't exist in the Judicial Conference. And there are certainly things uh, that sh should properly uh, be discussed confidentially and maintained as confidential, particularly before decisions are made, the essence of the deliberative process privilege, pre-decisional, uh, but uh, striking the right balance between Transparency and accountability uh, is, I think, uh, for the Judicial Conference, like every uh, branch of government, important. The one thing that is made public is the report of each Judicial Conference after the meeting, correct? A report of the proceedings. Yes. Which is and, a summary. <laughs> and the report of the proceedings would tend to include reports to the conference from its committees, so the one way that any of this would become public is only if the determination that was made here was actually referred by the uh, Financial Disclosure Committee to the Judicial Conference, and then that would be reported in the summary of the Judicial Conference's activity, correct? Yes. Uh, and that did not happen in this case. The reports of the judicial conference, uh, the, I'm sorry, the reports of the Financial Disclosure Committee were under judicial conference policy required to include everything that the committee had discussed and decided since the last conference meeting, even if no recommendation uh, for conference action was being made. The four reports starting in March uh, 2011, of the Financial Disclosure Committee to the conference, it contained no reference, no hint, uh, that any letters had been sent or any issues had been raised. So the only, the only disclosure that the Judicial Conference provides any record of in these matters is the April 30 letters um, from the Judicial Conference that 
summarily say, nothing has been presented to support a determination that Justice Thomas's failure to report the source of his spouse's income was willful, or that Justice Thomas willfully or improperly failed to disclose information concerning travel reimbursements. That is it that has been public, correct? As far as I know, yes. As far as I know, too. 